Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a knife consult again on the Nick Chuprin or NCC Knives Mark I Micro. This one, uh, if you go back on my channel, you will see a video where I talked about both the Mark I S or small and this one, the Mark I Micro. Both of those were on loan from the Birdshot IV channel. Thank you guys for sending that one way back when. So I enjoyed those knives so much that I really have been trying to find a Mark I to pick up. And uh, this one came across my radar. This is a Mark I Micro. This is the tiny one with a 2.5 inch blade. Uh, and I just was in love with the way that this knife looked. And I wanted to make a quick video just talking about this knife in particular because it's a little bit different than the one that I reviewed previously. Namely that this one now has a pocket clip making it carryable for me on an everyday basis and I have been carrying it for a little while. Full disclosure, I had a project in mind to go along with this knife but in order to buy another grail, uh, a knife which uh, was recently on the channel as well, this very spectacular Robert Carter Warfighter in SM100, I needed to pick up, uh, I needed to sell a few knives and unfortunately this and the BBM that I was going to pair with it had to go. Uh, but I wanted to talk about this specific knife, give Nick Chuprin some more props for making amazing products and uh, just explore the different iterations of the Mark I that are coming across right now. So this is one of the early on Mark I's. You can tell that by the fact that the blade is sterile. That was uh, something that's changed. The new ones come with a very cool NCC logo, so that's a little bit different. But I'll, I'll go ahead and give you the measurements here. As you can see, this knife is running about a 2.55 inch blade right here. It's about two and a half inches of cutting length. You're at three inches to the pivot. You're at six inches of overall length. That's an excellent blade to handle ratio right there. Enjoying that. You've got about three and a half inches of handle with three inches of grip area. I'm enjoying the very exact uh, measurements on this knife. You can tell that Nick did his homework and his engineering. It's 45, 450 thousandths, so under half an inch thick, and the blade stock is 126 thousandths. Uh, in this dimension right here, the tallest height is coming in at 1.1 inches, so it's not a very tall knife. The real benefit to having a tiny knife like this is that it is very lightweight. This small amount of titanium and steel comes in at 2.54 ounces, so it's at that golden ratio. 2.5 ounces, 2.5 inches of blade, that's a beautiful thing for me to see. I enjoy that very much. Let's go ahead and break this knife down anatomically and uh, see what we have working here. Up front is this beautifully done Tanto grind, Spanto grind, that harpoon Spanto that Nick does so well. It's his signature grind and it is absolutely beautiful. As I mentioned in the previous video, uh, Nick really uh, decided this was a blade shape that he wanted to try and there have been some other people who have uh, uh, perhaps copied the design, but really and truly no blade shape is truly unique. Uh, you know, it's 2018. There have been knives forever and ever. In any case, uh, this is Nick's sort of signature look, and I absolutely adore it. From a functional standpoint, uh, this Spanto grind is great. Honestly, the t you get all the benefits of a drop point in the sense of a nice uh, area of flat and then a belly here, but you get that Tanto tip. Uh, so Nick likes to say that you get two tips. You get the first tip for the draw cuts, which are common in EDC, and then you still get the nice piercing tip. And for this, in everyday carry, it works quite well. The blade is done in CTS XHP steel with a hollow grind here, a flat grind there, a nice swedge, and this acid stone wash. This is one of Nick's favorite finishes is the acid stone wash. While it's not my personal preference, I really like stone, a plain stone wash or a satin finish or a mirror stone wash has become a recent favorite of mine. Uh, this is a cool look because it gives it sort of a sleek and subtle overall look. It makes it less intimidating. Even though a small knife is already not intimidating, it makes it even a, a bit more subtle and calm, and I do like that. Uh, speaking of subtle and calm, one of the benefits of having this tiny knife is that no one really gets scared. Honestly, this becomes a bit of a curiosity around the office or around the clinic where I am uh, rather than something that people are afraid of. And it's so tiny, if you wanted to, you could just uh, remove it from the uh, clip and drop it into your pocket. There's an option to have this without a clip. Uh, if you so choose. It's so small it fits nicely in the watch pocket as well, uh, especially without the clip. Uh, so going back to some of the features here anatomically, moving back, we are running on a ball bearing pivot with nice titanium pivot screws right here. He's offered some various different finishes. 
Uh, the t back to the handles, this runs on some titanium here. Very nicely done. No internal milling. Nice lockup. There is not a lock bar insert, uh, but he does know how to treat his uh, lock bar so that there is no lock stick. There is ceramic uh, detent in there, and uh, it's quite snappy. One of the things I love about this little knife, uh, if you're going to make a small knife, it needs to function as well or better than a large knife because you have even less mass and even less inertia to get a good flip. So his detent is very crisp, and as you can see, it allows for a lightning opening, especially if you push button it. It just flies out of the handle. If you do a light switch, the same thing happens. Both are very comfortable and very easy. The blade comes nowhere near the back of the handle, and uh, it, it functions quite well. It's, there's nothing that uh, you're going to be worried about right there in terms of getting cut. The backspacer here is done in a nice bronze titanium eggshell. Beautifully, beautifully done. This is just a very subtle and beautiful knife. Uh, honestly, this is probably my favorite of the smaller knives that I've ever handled. If I could make a final diagnosis on this after handling quite a few of these and now owning this one, I would say that this is my favorite two and a half inch knife. I've handled quite a few. I had the Hoback MK Ultra. I have the had the Olamic Busker. I've had a few others in my hands, and but this one is definitely the highest quality and the very much the nicest. Now they do come in somewhere around six hundred dollars, so they are quite expensive. But understand that Nick is one man in a shop with a CNC and a grinding wheel, and he's making this himself, and uh, they're beautifully done. He does a great job. Everything about this is absolute quality. So definitely go and check out Nick Chuprin's work at NCC Knives on Instagram. He has a website, nccknives.com. Just wanted to make a quick video showing this latest version that I have of the Mark One. This one is actually going to be going to my good buddy Nico. He goes by Today's Grail, Tomorrow's Beater on Instagram. So if you want to see more of this knife, you can go follow him. Go over there and follow me at Dr. Frunky. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And as always, guys, take care.